Happy Friday, everyone. Once again, we are back with VESL League. I am going to lead us today. You're probably who's this guy? He doesn't look as good as proper. It's me, Tumbleweed. You're used to me. <laughs> but I'm joined with a new guest today, Discounts, my man, Chris. Welcome to the stage. What's going on? It's Friday Night Lights. Let's oh, go, yeah. Michael. 
Yeah, I can't think of anything better to do than, you know, used back in the day in high school, and this was long ago, you know, I'm an old man, <laughs> always going to the high school football game, but today we're going to the high school football game. It's Rocket League, Cars and it. Rockets. Yeah. I love it. I mean, like you said, back in the day when we, you know, we didn't have this. So yeah. seeing this is just an awesome opportunity for these students, and uh, I'm excited to see, you know, actually learn something. A lot of times when after I watch a lot of Rocket League, I get antsy and I want to go home and play. So we'll see if that happens tonight. Yes, I'm the exact opposite. I'm horrible at Rocky League. I always want to play until I jump in the game. I get dumpstered on by somebody. Today, kicking us off live, we're going to have a special matchup. You guys, we got JT Williams versus the Rocky River Ravens. We haven't seen a whole lot of JT Williams um, this week, at least on the stream. They were in a Valorant game. They weren't represented in Smash yesterday. But we have seen Rocky River, I believe, all three days. So could be an exciting matchup. I hear there's a lot of hype behind JT Williams. Are you familiar with this school at all? I am. And this is a team that used to duke it out with Audrey Kell back and forth toward the end of, you know, of the playoffs. So I'm excited to see this team and see where they're at here this season. Absolutely. And this, for folks at home who aren't familiar with what Rocket League is, it's very simple to understand. Not like Smash, there was a lot of rules, but we have Rocket League soccer, right? Just think of soccer, good old European football, <laughs> right? Foot to ball. But this time, imagine you were playing football with cars with jet engines attached to them flying through the sky. There's all kinds of vehicles in this game. I mean, they've got Ford F-150s. They've got crazy made-up cars, and they're going to be flying through the car. Formula One. Right? You got Formula One cars. Everything zip zooming through the air. Uh, we're going to try to break down some terminology in the game as we go to you because, you know, you're just at home. You want to cheer on your loved ones. You want to be able to talk about their highlights when they get home this evening. We're here to help you out, guys. That's what we're here for. And in just a moment, we'll be jumping into the game. What are you expecting? You're more familiar with these schools than I am. Rocky River, JT Williams, what's your prediction for today? It's hard to go against JT Williams. This is a team that's always firing on all cylinders. It doesn't matter if one player is not maybe picking it up because the other two usually picks up the pace. So I'm excited to see how they come out of the gate here this season mm -hmm. because they're definitely the team that everyone talks about. Like you said, we haven't seen them yet. So uh, we'll see. We'll see tonight. Yep, and you reminded me. I got to talk about what we're going to see in game. 3v3 action, ladies and gentlemen. I think a normal soccer team. I don't know. I'm making this up. I don't watch soccer. 8v8, 10v10, something like that. 11 on 11, I think. 11 on 11. I might be wrong. <laughs> yeah. I might, don't quote That'd me on that. Above. We got three on three action here for the folks. Now let's break down what you see on screen, right? It's going to be fast paced. It's going to be a lot of momentum. If you ever want to keep track of who your player is, you can see their name on the top of the screen. Those numbers beside them, that's how much boots they've got. There's little pickups around the map, these little floaty orbs, right, to get more boost. And you can see already that this is soccer if you were jacked up on Red Bull. Everyone's <laughs> moving around on the field. All gas, no brakes is what we definitely say when it comes to JT Williams' uh, gameplay. And I already can tell, I know these some of these players, Grassy, Nutella, and even ID Fay on the Rocky River side, you know, all three have been, um, you know, competing in the past. And I've seen them just each and every season get better and better. So I'm, I'm looking for the improvement here. Yeah, this is the varsity league. I imagine that, you know, these days in high school, they're growing up, right? You come in as a freshman, you go to your sophomore, junior year. Now you've been brought to the big league. Nutella looking to put on a show. Um, somebody scored. It's all asterisks. Uh, it uh, scored by Am. There we go. Thank you for the replay screen. This is a lot of help. But just a nice little pass there. Just to tap, tap, tap it in. Ball's not too good for their home in this case. Yeah, I love that a reference right there, especially <laughs> during the Masters going on. J2 Williams, though, already starting off hot out of the gate. Just kind of what I expected with this J2 Williams team. A grassy Nutella uh, been there before, but like you said, Am was the one that scored it. So, uh, yeah, looking uh, forward to see how well he fits in this uh, these big three. So if you were going to break down kind of roles, right, positions on this team. He's got three people. Is there typically one guy that you turn to to look to be, you know, your messy of the team, get all the scores, get it all into the, the net, per I, se? I think what happens is you see that as the match goes on. I think once the game starts, we don't have that. But as we see Rocky River tie it up right there with Victor 17 with a great shot. Let's watch this again. Hops real quick, gets up and gets it to where Nutella can't even get to it. So great job by the Rocky River side. But going back to your question, uh, 
not at the beginning, but halfway through the game, that's whenever you're like, this guy's got something right now. This guy's got something. Because I think it changes each and every match. Yeah, and you just see interesting little dynamic here. I, I'm having a hard time, you know, keeping up with it. It looks like there's a lot of rotations. I'm sure if you could look at, like, a top-down view, you kind of notice you're doing these little rotational circles here, right? You're trying to always alley-oop it for the guy in the center, looking to set him up for that that dump, I guess. I'm not sure, you know, what the, what the kids use in terminology <laughs> these days. Um, nice little hit scotch maneuver there. I, I defay a, a lesson from yesterday, right? As a caster, Nutella with a great shot there, trying to earn his sponsorship here with Nutella, great food product. Um, if you want your name to be said a certain way, we had backwards Jake yesterday, but it was E, 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 CAC, uh, e CAG, I think it was. Uh, we threw that out the window. However it looks there, we're gonna say it, oh. Jake backwards. We're gonna keep trying not to mess up names. We've had someone in the past like that uh, was Caden. It was uh, uh, Nidak. And it was, it, it was uh, Caden spelled backwards. So yeah, we definitely had a few of those in the past <laughs> as well. <laughs> no, if you, if you want your name to be said properly, guys, you gotta spell it out for me. I'm old, I forgot how to read. I haven't been in high school you know, in a long time. A lot, no more classes for me. This is just a lot of yeah. back and forth action. Really close game, two to one, with only two minutes left in this first game. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our best to sound out your name. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, don't don't come at us uh, if we say it wrong. But I mean, look at these aerials right now with the touches and everything. Right now, I, I got I got to give it up to Rocky River, keeping J T Williams in check. Yeah, I mean, from what I from what I understand, Rocky River they had a good showing this day. J T Williams they did have their Valor squad. They did have a nice 13-0 win on Wednesday in our live stream. And here, can JT Williams carry that momentum forward, give their school just a, a good weekend? Maybe they're going to go and have you know some kind of celebration in the auditorium. I don't know. Did wow. They, do that they should with that shot. Yeah. I mean, Victor with his second goal of this game. Watch this again. ID Fay with the pass. And there, Victor is right there with two great shots already on net and uh, finds finds themselves uh, tied up. Yeah, about as picture perfect as you can get right down the middle. No goalie, right? It's kind of interesting. I guess your goalie's a bit more flexible in a 3v3 situation. Real soccer, you know, you've got a lot more bodies to throw at it. Yeah, you want that constant rotation when it comes to, uh, you know, Rocket League. You know, you only have three players, so one misses, the next one in line is up. And you gotta, you got to trust your teammates that they're going to be there. And that's why you get a lot of these rotations kind of messed up because sometimes, you know, you feel like you shouldn't go for a ball when you should have and then vice versa. And uh, sometimes if you just can't beat your opponent to the ball, you guys you can get thrown back. Well, see, that's where I messed up because Dylan, another guy who's casting or was casting on the uh, Western Conference side over here, I mean, when he played Rocket League with me, he just sat in the goal and he said, go <laughs> throw balls at that goal. I'm going to hold it down. And I got to tell you, I've seen a dedicated goalie do some magical things in Rocket League. So I would devote that to I, someone. For I've all. definitely had a few of my friends do the same thing. They're, you know, they're just like, all right, I, I, I can't play with you guys anymore. Just go <laughs> score goals. I, I, you guys have been bumping me in the back the whole time. I'm just going to let me play goal. <laughs> so I've definitely seen that in the back. You know, just looking at Rocket League, listen, folks, I'm not as I'm not as well connected here. Like, I look in the middle of that arena. It looks like a giant Pokeball in the center stage to me. <laughs> But this looks like, I mean, can you imagine this with like a hockey puck? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, or yeah. a basketball. Well, they they have those little game and uh, little mini games in Rocket League. You can play basketball and sometimes oh. hockey. They have it. We need to hop on. We need to get this on the esports stage. Yeah. We, you know, wouldn't that be interesting, right? You have a best of five series. First one soccer, then you go to like a hockey. I'm, I'm sure you could do some kind of tennis style with this too. You know, just get everything. Football is probably like ours one. Oh man. Yeah, I think, I think on football, they uh, as soon as you touch the ball, it just sticks to your car. You can just drive around. <laughs> so, like, yeah, they, they have it all. They figured it all out, for sure. The spike ball, there you go. Uh, uh, appreciate production. I mean, we have 20 seconds still remaining. Still tie ball game here in this game number one. Yeah, really close. And, folks, if it is tied up right at the end of this timer here. Actually, we're in overtime, so I should have explained this sooner. Breakdown on my part. 
So five minute rounds. If they are tied up at the end, it goes into overtime. Next goal wins. And I think the timer just keeps going until someone scores and I'm mistaken. And it will just keep ticking too. I mean I've seen I've seen basically a whole nother five minute game in overtime in the past. So we'll see. Usually uh, teams are pretty good at scoring kind of quick. But right now, I mean, it's just a dead even game. Yep, buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. We could be here all night on just <laughs> the first game of this series as no one wants to give it up. But just like that, I'm going to take the asterisk as Am with that goal until it tells me, boom, look at that. I'm playing yeah. Rocky League UI. Am with the goal to close out this first game in this best of five. Yeah, and that was a close one. That was, like I said, props to Rocky River keeping up with JT. And now JT did end up closing it out there. So great job right there. You can see some of the stats. Uh, I mean, just Nutella, uh, 454 for their team. Rocky River, Victor did it all for Rocky River, but still not great enough to uh, get it done. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning how to read this score here. I guess you get scores for your goals, ascents, shots, and all adds up to some score at the top there. But big thing for us there, folks, is, as you said, three goals for that top player there. As the players get ready for game two, Looks like it could be a close series. Only one down. You bet early on. It's hard to go against JT Williams. They yes. take that first game. Tell me, from your perspective as a caster and a viewer, do you want the 3-0 or do you want it to always go to game five? Oh, I mean, as a viewer, you want to see game five every single time, right? I mean, I, I want to see the overtime in every single game. Now, um, as a player, I'm trying to get it done. I'm trying to just sweep it and then go watch everyone else play, right? Yep. Uh, I'm trying to get get the job done uh, and, and hopefully my teammates doing the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of teammates and mental fortitude, JT Williams with the first game, what advice are you giving to Rocky River for that comeback, not to let that first game get in their head too much? Remember, these are young players. Sometimes your mental, you haven't quite developed it yet. Yeah, and that's that's something that goes to the coach and the team captain, right? I'm going to step up, and I'm going to say, hey, it's one game. We got best of five. We have plenty of time here in these series. Just like if you go back to some other sports like MLB, you got series, and, uh, you know, one game doesn't mean anything. Yep, absolutely. It's just the series. Just one game in a four-week adventure. As we get ready, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told game two coming live at you right now. Let's hop right into this. Yeah, with how close these, I mean, that first game was, there's no telling here in game two what to expect with Rocky River. I mean, just keep the foot on the gas because if, you, if you're already keeping it within a one-score game against J.C. Williams, a team that's known for their Rocky League ability, uh, you're doing something right. Yeah, absolutely. And again, if you're at home and you're watching this, you're a little confused, right? You can kind of start to make sense of this. If you just think about soccer, really close games. You know, you're Rocky River. Look, guys, I'm making assumptions. Clearly, they're not hyped up to the level of JT Williams. So we'll call a middle of the pack, right? We don't ever want to call anybody bottom. If you're going up against what appears to be the top dog, right, the fan favorite, and you're holding their own, you're going to gain some traction. You're going to get some fan base behind you. And this could really help accelerate you, right, to know, hey, I can hang with all these people as you move into weeks two, three, four. Ultimately, try to get that twenty-five thousand dollars. That's a great point. Man. I'd say even going a great shot right there. That's Ivy Spay getting on the board early for Rocky River. That's a great one. You're gonna see this one again. Watch Ivy Spay just kind of set himself up. And you see the demo, Victor. I mean, just hats off for Victor. Even though he didn't score that time, he did clear the path to make it really easy for Ivy Spay. Yep. And that's something we didn't explain, right? If you're trying to relate this to real soccer can't go tackle other people. Nutella doesn't want me to talk too long. Just goes in, <laughs> gets a little comeback score there, throws it back into the net. So as I was saying, right, that's a, that's a big difference, right, when you're looking at Rocket League soccer compared to real life soccer. You can't go tackle anyone on the field, but that's where you get a little bit of hockey influence, right? You don't like that guy, just go blow him up. Well, you can tackle <laughs> him in, 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 in soccer, but you get penalized, right? Yeah. But. Yeah, here, you're just not penalized. You actually get points. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> they kind of encourage it. And uh, I, I'm telling you, these students will definitely uh, sometimes go on a just a demo rampage. And we've, been, we've seen it time and time again. You know, you might have a, a player that's being, you know, really actually a game changer. And if you can take them out, then you're going to set yourself up pretty well. Yep, you heard it here first, folks. Bullies is, can yeah. go far in Rocky League, just like that, right? Bully the player who's doing the best. Go keep him off the field. 
take him out. Now, that puts it down to a two-on-two, two, right? So you got to really think about it. Maybe you're someone having an off day, right? You can't, you can't quite you know, finesse your controls in the air a little bit. And just go blow people up, right? Have a good time with it. That is what happens sometimes. Sometimes if you are maybe the weakest link when it comes to, uh, you know, your team, you know, you might not be the best at aerials or, like you said, you know, dribbling the ball. Sometimes they're saying, hey, clear out that goal for us. Yeah. We've been really close. It's just, we're, you know, one of those players is just back there. And I think that's going to be a goal for Grassy. And it is. And JT Williams will take the lead with this play right here. Yeah, I thought I saw some some goalies down in that and just couldn't quite get yeah, just barely yeah. couldn't get to it. Victor just a little too slow. And Victor did have boost, so maybe he just didn't hold it in enough. He couldn't get that top speed to get in there. That's how fast it can go. Momentum plays a huge part, right? Just as you would imagine for a normal soccer ball. If you can get that thing really bouncing off the walls at high speed, it's gonna be hard to keep up with. But you can also take it slow, right? You kind of dribble it in. Uh, instead of just going for these long range shots. Man, I want to shout out the improvement from Grassy. I mean, just in the past couple years that I, you know, I've been watching him play, unbelievable. I mean, he, that last goal he scored was off the side wall. Like, he was just waiting for a pass, and it came through. And perfect shot. So, you know, back, I would say a couple years ago, you are not seeing that type of level of play from Grassy. So that just shows Hey, you play for a few years, you're going to get a lot better. Possibly a future star in Rocket League. And look Grassy at this. again. Yep. He heard you. You hyping him up. Nah. He's just going to lay it up in there. I mean, just look at this little lob. Perfect. I couldn't even see the name of the guy that went flying by. Id Fey, Heidi Fey. Right? That's, that's just unfortunate. Just that slight angle off. And that's the type of uh, gameplay you're going to see from JT Williams. And possibly another one. Here's the goal is sitting right there for him. Ooh. But you're going to see a demo try to clear that one away. As Rocky River now trying to take it the other way. Trying to for a flip reset. There's the pass. Let's see if we can get a setup for the Rocky River side. And look, JT Williams getting these demos. Just not letting them even have a shot. We have Victor, 17. Just getting the ball out of his hands there. Just making them have to reset their play. But Heidi Fay comes in, gets a nice little score. Really, I'm going to dial this back a little bit. You can see, thankfully, Victor gets the assist there. But Victor really helps set this up. Yeah. As JT Williams trying to just carry the ball, in a sense, through the sky to the other end of the field, Victor pulls it back to set up Fay for the score. And that was a full team effort, actually, yeah. too. I mean, you had Pandy who hit it up at the 50. Then it was Victor. And then it was Heidi Fay. Like, overall, that was, everyone touched the ball on that series. That was a great goal, great teamwork too by Rock River. They got to keep that up if they're going to try and compete here in this series with JT Williams. JT Williams barely hanging on here in this game number two. One minute remaining. So one minute up three to two. Victor going for another play similar to last time. Gets the backup from Candy, but Nutella says, get that out of here. You're not scoring on me again. Little interception there, I guess, from Grassy. I'm just throwing all the sports terms at it. One of them's gonna line up in Rocket League. Nice little jump boost there. Trying to keep up with everything. JT trying to still just keep the ball on the opposite side. Rocky River says no, they're gonna take it and have a great setup. Just missed that shot by a couple inches right there, my man. Every inch counts. Rocket League and in height. Faye gets the ball taken away from Am. I wonder why Rocket League can't have Am's name because it's all natural. That doesn't seem to me. Maybe he's got some special character in there that's not going to be on. Grassy takes out the goalie there. Trying to help his team secure a point. Oh my, just off the top of the goal twice. They have it. Pandy gets it in. We're going overtime again wow. in game two. I was not expecting that. I saw the two misses, and I was like, oh, man, they just missed that. And Pandy comes out of nowhere and slams it in to tie it and go to overtime. I mean, in the literal last second of that round, that was almost an easy game two over to JT Williams. I mean, I should, I should have brought my sleeping bag to the studio. <laughs> like, I mean, we, we're, we might be here all night. Yeah, I definitely should have brought a pillow. Long work day coming in to do this. I wasn't quite prepped for the... The marathon we might be running, but we're going to make the best of it. We're going to attempt Grassy. Already. And Good and guy, Grassy, looking out for me. He just goes ahead, gets a goal in straight down the straight down the center here. 
It doesn't get any more beautiful than that. Yeah, right off a kickoff, and that's something that JT Williams has kind of been specialized in in the past couple of years. They know how to get it off the break, and it just shows right there. I mean, Rocky Rivers hanging around. They're all over it, but Pan even Pandy trying to help out with that last second goal and still not able to uh, pull off a game yet, but still, hey, it's not over yet, Michael. No, absolutely it's not. And just dialing it back to what you talked about early on, you can see there Grassy with three goals, Nutella with one, but Grassy really stepping up, perhaps a little bit of that veteran senior or senior. Wow. I seniority. can't talk. I Seniority, <laughs> that's the word I'm going for. His leadership stepping up there and saying, hey, guys, it's a close game, but I'm going to step up. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to take this over yes. the top to set us up for victory. Yeah, it, it, I, ag I completely agree. The seniority, you – He's already been there and done that. He's He knows what to do. Same thing with Nutella. And uh, even ID Faye, though, on the other side, they've all been around. They know what these overtime games take. Uh, but right now, JT Williams just showing they have that little bit extra oomph into these this match. So we'll see if that hangs on in the game number three. Yep. And, folks, if you are just joining us today throughout the week, I mean, we've had a whole week of action just like this, but I want to give a special shout-out to, I guess, the game Rocket League. These are really exciting games for someone who, you know, is a little bit, I guess, disconnected from this scene. You know, I've been a lot more in the MOBAs and, like, other FPSs, types like that. Like, Valorant I know a good bit, but Rocket League, pretty fresh to me, coming in with fresh eyes. This is just a beautiful sport that you can tell. I mean, everyone's having fun in there. And having a good time. Absolutely, yeah. And, and let, until you get demoed, and then <laughs> and then you're not having the best time. You're kind of yeah. getting frustrated. But and that we've been seeing that here in these last two games. I expect more demos here in game three, chat. Yep. And we are just going to go ahead and get into our next game. Remember, folks, this is a best of five. Yep. JT Williams is up 2-0 in this series. Rocky River Ravens. They're going to try to rally and get this comeback, but you have to be feeling the pressure at this moment. Absolutely. This is when your backs are against the wall. Do you have the clutch gene? I keep asking that every season. Who's got the clutch gene? Right now, right now it looks like Grassy uh, and the whole team of JT Williams does whenever they're clutching it out in these overtime games. But like we said earlier, it's not over. This, you know, best of five matches, we can see the reverse sweep. We've seen them in the past, uh, and especially how close these games have been. Grassy, I think he should rename himself to Spider-Man, just the way he was crawling on that wall there, being, being so sneaky, just jumps off. Nice little bump to go forward. Victor, just trying to keep everything on, on his enemy's side of the map here. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want that pressure to go back to his goalie there. You can tell every time JT Williams gets in that flow, they start getting comfortable. That's when Grassy will sneak that shot in. And ultimately go up one point. A lot yeah, of right. pressure though. Yeah, great defense though. I mean, just even though they, I mean they're having shots on, they're trying to set each other up, but just defense going on both ways is really great. Yeah. Nice little pop off the wall there. You can tell he's sneaking around looking for an angle shot. Nutella, nice little fast and the furious drift there to get back to the ball. Victor, he's gonna set it up for his team. Grassy in the goal though. This guy does it all. Yup, and Nutella trying to get one on over Pandy. Pandy says, no thank you. I'll take that and take it to the bank. That is 1-0 Rocky River with that in game number three. And that's what they got to do. That's what they got to do, Michael. I mean, they have to score early, jump on JT Williams, put pressure on them for once. Yep, and I might be making this up, but I'm going to run with it. I think, compared to the first two games, this is the first game Rocky River got the first school. I think so. Right? So Rocky River has the momentum in this match. JT Williams, we've not really got to see, see them on the back foot. But, I mean, they look so good. Surely they can handle that, especially with a two-game cushion. Right. I mean, the closest down. we saw them to be, like, backs against the wall was in the overtime when Candy, you know, forced the overtime. And even then, they were up that whole game. So, yeah, for sure. Let's see how they react here with being down one. Especially if uh, Rocky River can get some insurance goals. That's going to put even more pressure on them and uh, might even get, you know, their mental state rattled. Yeah, you know what this game is missing? You know, in soccer, I'm making them turn. They get like a red card or yellow card or something, you know. And then they got it. They have the, the guy that stands in front of the goalie and just takes a shot. They need that here. Oh, a penalty kick. A penalty kick. There you go. Folks, I'm not making it up. This is genuine. I don't know soccer. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm winging it here. Just here to 
get you guys through this. I'm learning a little bit as I go too. I've started learning <laughs> as soon as I started watching uh, a little bit of Charlotte FC since they came here, and, and so I've been I've been learning as I go as well. So I don't know much. I definitely can't uh, say I'm, I'm big on it, but uh, I'm definitely yeah. learning. Very fortunate. I did get to go to that opening match. Oh, I love it. Um, the very first game we had, I think it was like a scrimmage, if I remember right. But I have not had an opportunity to go back. But I love the fan base that's growing and you know everything that's coming around that scene. One day, maybe we'll get us a Major League Soccer team, and I'll be able to follow that along. But first, you know, I'd, I'd prefer a uh, Major League Baseball team. First, just, just, <laughs> yeah. just my, a little bit more of my jam. Uh, start going to some of those games. I'm with you. We, we got the Knights is all we got right now, but it, hey, it's something. And 4425. I wonder what the story is with 4425. Is that like a lucky number? A lottery ticket? Nutella? Could be his last word of Super. Could be, folks. Am giving you, giving you his identity, but Nutella delivering you not only great food, but beautiful Rocket League action. Absolutely, and that's just something that we see time in and time out uh, each season with Nutella. You know, never seems to disappoint, uh, especially for JT Williams as a squad. But right now, they answer back. Can they keep pushing forward and get this sweep going? JT Williams right now, Rocky River, trying to fight, stay alive here. Andy, nice little, nice little shot off the wall here to Victor. A pass, I guess, is the right term there. Nice goal block there. Grassy, every time we've seen Grassy in this leadership position, he does deliver. He's clearing the way a little bit for the team. One minute remaining, folks, and we're 1-1 one, one on the clock. 55 seconds to go to this game yeah. three. Can and JT Williams close that? And another neck-in-neck neck game we see. I mean, it, it, are we going to see another overtime? It, we might, honestly. The, these teams are pretty close right now when it comes to uh, you know skill level. I mean, really, I, I, I'm i really surprised with Rocky River, and I love to see it because they have really improved. Yeah, we saw like a little bump there, right? Two cards just bumping into each other. So, folks, you have to have a certain speed, right? You have to go on a certain momentum when you do collide with that other car to blow them up and take them off the field for a few seconds. Otherwise, you could just bump into each other, kind of throw off their path a little bit. I'm wondering, in a competitive environment right, like this, right, you're in a match, $25,000 ultimately on the line. If you get in a rule one situation, <laughs> do you commit? Got to. It's rule right. one. You got to. And Nutella, with two seconds remaining, puts it in and gives their team a lead here. And that it just shows you who's got the clutch gene. Nutella's been there and done that. Scores it here with two seconds remaining. Let's see if Rocky River can do something here off this kickoff. You're going to have to do something quick, keep the ball up in the air to keep that time from not ticking. Yep, that's uh, another good rule to call out. It hit the ground there, so JT Williams wins. But, folks, if you do get in a situation like that, as long as the ball stays in the air, you can keep the game going, you can extend that time, but that's a tall task for anyone, especially those aerials. Quick look at the scores here. Nutella, two goals. Grassy and Am not quite getting the goals, but they do both have an assist to their name. New Grassy last game with three. But Nutella's given all the shots, right? The Seven shots, exactly. Shots. He's got the same amount of shots as everyone on Rocky River combined. So, folks, perfect time for the quote. You miss every shot you don't take. Absolutely. Just take the shot. Absolutely. Nutella had no trouble doing that, shooting as many shots. I think it was seven or nine in the last two games averaging that so uh, Nutella knows how to get them shots down range but I mean just great plays by JT Williams taking that one in a fashion I mean they even though it, it doesn't look good on paper you just said yeah they won 3-0 you actually had to watch and be there watching uh, Rocky River keep up I mean that all three games were close yep I mean just like real life guys you may see the score it looks like it was a blowout but in actuality you know it could have went either way right mm -hmm. just JT Williams just a little bit more on it today than Rocky River, but I would not be surprised if these fo if these teams do meet, you know, next week, week after, whatever it may be, if Rocky River could take that matchup in the long run. I could see it. I mean, they they have the chemistry. You see it there. I mean, keeping up with that type of caliber team, yeah. I, I think we're going to see Rocky River, um, you know, a little bit later on here in, in this uh, season. Yep, and and. Ladies and gentlemen, that was our first game of the night. I know, right? We've still got six more, if I'm not mistaken, coming your way. JT Williams does close it with a 3-0. This 
ends their week, right? JT Williams as a school, just to call it out. We saw them on Wednesday. They had a 13-0 sweep here. Wow. They had a 3-0 sweep, right? Close game here. Valorant, a lot more one-sided. I don't recall them being in Smash yesterday, but overall, if you're a JT Williams fan, you can be proud knowing that this week they delivered. And we're going to get ready to go into our next matchup, which is going to be those Butler Bulldogs versus the Providence Chargers. What a wonderful game. We've seen the Bulldogs. We'll get into that right after this quick break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a minute.
Welcome back, everyone, to our second series of this beautiful Friday. It looks like it, the rain has passed. The sun is coming back out here in Charlotte, and we have what will hopefully be another great Rocket League series for you today with the Butler Bulldogs versus Providence Chargers storyline discounts for you not being here. Butler, we did see them on Wednesday. They unfortunately lost a pretty close game in Valorant to Audrey Kell. Providence, they're coming off a victory in Valorant. So... This could tell, you know, this could set the stage, right? Butler, if you're trying to rally your school, maybe you got like a homecoming or something coming up. This is where you can get some momentum, a little bit more to cheer about in that auditorium. Yeah, and you know the Valorant squad for Butler is like, please beat them, please. <laughs> just just <laughs> get it done on Friday so I can enjoy my weekend. Uh, you know, you, you know that's what they're hoping for. Yep, absolutely. Providence, we're looking for a good game, but if you're the Butler Bulldogs and Providence Chargers, ladies and gentlemen, you have a heck of a game to fill the shoes of. We just had a very exciting back and forth close series. What will we see out of these guys? I'm hoping that we see something good. You recognize players in the last game. Do you recognize these schools? Yeah, I mean, definitely recognize the schools. Uh, not so much players yet. I I'm about to find out here as we're going straight into this game. Series number two here of the night as Providence of Butler will be kicking off here. And yeah, I don't see too many of the uh, names that's familiar, but I'm sure we'll get uh, familiar after this series. Now, one thing I want to call out, I'm just doing a little bit of note checking real fast. I'm pretty confident we have another player named Muck Kippo. I'm trying to see if it's the same guy. Uh, yeah, Muck Kippo for Butler High School. We played on Valorant just two days ago. 11 19 scoreline. He's coming over to Rocket League. I mean, is this guy good at both games? I don't, I don't understand. How do you have the time for this? Yeah, this is just somebody who's a straight gamer, and I'm sure we're going to see it here tonight. But as we first see Providence on the board first in this series. Uh, failed sins. Taking it off there off the back of the Sag CKO. That's how I'm going to say that name. Tan Banana. Providence, you're feeling good. Fist bumps all around, I'm sure, at the table there. But Kami Mukkipo. It's, I'm going to call him CIA Lord. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Siap Lord? I like CIA Lord. It sounds pretty cool. You'll have to let oh. me know if you're in the chat how to say your name. What a save, Kenny! Oh, oh, my. So close. It was so close. He was trying to get it out right at the threshold. And uh, you see uh, just not quite there as that sneaks in. And uh, it looks like Providence already off to a great start. Four minutes and five seconds still remaining here in this first game, and they are already off to a great start. Yep, folks, and if you're like me, you just learned a brand new rule. Maybe this is a rule in real soccer. The ball has to be all the way in the goal. It's not just if you cross the line. I don't know if that's how it works in real soccer. I don't know. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they actually have it here in the UI where it shows if it actually crossed or not, because if not, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of referees to yell at <laughs> because there's been a lot of close ones here in these games. And, uh, you know, you know, sometimes the sometimes the referees aren't so uh, correct. But on here, it's 100% accurate. Failed sins again. Good thing to call it at home, folks. Two points I want to make here. One, we still need our sleeping bags because Rocket League Beautiful game, but you can see every time they score, the, the clock stops at the top there. So it's not just five minutes straight, just five minutes. You know, it gets extended, right? We'll call it eight, ten. The more that they score, the longer this game theoretically lasts. We're still going to need our sleeping bags, folks, but for a different reason. This is one of dominance. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is, this is getting starting to get out of hand here, and it's only been, you know, it looks like they're averaging about, you know, a goal per minute. Uh, when it comes down to it, but Butler High just needs to get something on the board just to get the momentum starting to shift in the other way. But right now, it's not looking that way as Tan Banana puts one in here for Providence. One goal a minute. Hold my apple juice because this is high school. I'm going for two goals a minute now. It's, it, it might get there. Providence is uh, showing no mercy, which, and I will say, that's the difference between, uh, you know, some sports and esports. In esports, they don't care. They're gonna put the foot on the gas. They're going to completely beat you as as, hard, as much as they can. But sometimes, you know, uh, you know, these games can get out of hand. Yeah, little reference yesterday to Smash Brothers. You know, we saw grown men beating up boys on the <laughs> stage there. And here, you know, there's no mercy rule, folks. So they can go up 10-0. 
You know, I guess Great if you're Butler high, you could back out, but you don't ever want to do that unless it's just going to be for a good mental reset, right? But Providence with a very strong statement to open up his first game. They're certainly looking to end their week at least two of them. Right now, Providence is kind of driving circles around Butler. Like, you're just seeing it, just how fast they can get to the ball. It's, it's, it's very straightforward right now, if you can watch this, how much Providence is dominating the game. And folks, another beauty of live production, right? You don't know stuff on stage, you don't get distracted, but you do have wonderful people like the producers in our ears that let you know that it is a rule in soccer. The whole ball has to go in. The whole ball does have to go in. It's got to hit that net. Well, I guess not always, right? Sometimes sometimes it might be a real slow roller, barely cross that line uh, and, and still count as a goal. But yeah, I know most of the time uh, in soccer, it, it hits the back of the net. Yeah, I know at least in you know my history of baseball into softball, sometimes you get so used to the fast pitch that the slow pitch is the hardest one to hit. Yeah. It throws off all your time and all your speed. And you can certainly see a situation evolve like that in Rocket League, right? They're moving so fast that sometimes you slow the game down and it really throws off the rhythm and whoever can adjust, you know. Right there. Yeah, right. Just like you said it, watch this replay. This is exactly what you were just talking about. This is, I basically, in baseball, I'd call this a change up. Look at this, letting them go past and then going to touch it. What a great play right there by Phil Sins. I mean, he, they're on top right now. It's almost like I have the script in front of me, folks. Magic on the set here at the CMS League. Providence up 5-0. I don't know if they have a, a forfeit rule or a surrender rule, but if you're Butler High, more so if you're the Butler High coach, right, is that something you start to consider? A kind of throw in the towel. You know, some people may think that it would come off as, I don't know, weak or you're giving up. But the mindset that you have in this series it can really dictate everything. So making sure your players don't get too defeated could be a strategy in the long term. Yeah, this is very tricky uh, when it comes to getting, you know, blown out. And, and it's, if, you're, if you're down five, down six, down seven, you know, like right now, if I'm Butler, I'm trying to keep my team composed. We talked about this in series one. There's no reason to freak out. Best, I mean, we've seen plenty of times where teams are up by six and the next game, they lose by six. Yep. So it definitely can happen. If I'm Butler, I'm telling everyone to calm down, let's reset. What do we need to do in game two to, uh, you know, make it a little bit closer, right? Because right now, they only have a point on the board. Yep. And another thing with these divisions, you know, me being a bit more distant from them, not as educated on them, Butler High, they definitely had a very strong opponent in their Valorant series right on Wednesday. Providence looking to be a very strong opponent today. So this could be, if you're a Butler High, this could just be getting your hardest matchups out of the way on the schedule. And then you start going into those other weeks, building your rhythm, building your confidence up. So when you do meet these teams again, ideally on the stage for $25,000, mind you, you feel more confident and you can make this game a little bit closer. Absolutely. We see a possible, oh my, they almost put another one there on the board just to say, hey, we're here as Providence will take game one and just look at these stats. I mean, no goals there from Butler High. Hoping to get on the board in game two, but Providence, I mean, just the shot total is ridiculous. 13 shots compared to only two from Butler. So Providence, like you said, the, the shots have to be, you have to be shooting the shots for them to go in, right? Absolutely. Providence and the Chargers, certainly a fantastic showing. Uh, six goals, I believe it was. The, the, the UI went down. Six goals, I believe. And I'm looking over the Butler Bulldogs. I'm noticing, you know, Mup Kippo, right? Yep. Just to hone on him, not to pick on him, right? But we did see him in Valorant. He's coming over to this game. He doesn't seem to have that confidence or that flow that he had in Valorant. You know, pretty good showing, right? 11 and 16. You're not a positive KD, but you're doing well. Now you've come over into Rocky League. Maybe this is a situation of a sub player, or maybe he just is a player on two teams. Maybe mentally guy. fatigued, right? Yeah. Maybe he's a little tired because that series went a long way for them um, on Wednesday against Audrey Kale. Now you're going against Providence, another top dog in the division. A charger, right? Not even a dog. It's more, right. like, more like a horse or a car, depending on how you're looking at it. Um, but we're going to get into game two, right? If you are the Chargers, that's a big beating you just took. How do you reset that mental? 
I mean, on that point, it's tough because, like you said, you've already had a whole nother game. That's a whole different game. you got to reset on how – you know, what your teammates and call outs are for a different whole game. So, you know, you're, when you show up on Friday, it's got to be a whole reset. You got to forget about what happened, uh, you know, in your past games. And this is it. This is all that matters is right now, game number two, right against, uh, you know, it's going to be a tough one. I don't yep. know. Every moment counts, including the moment that you come in here and you start your first break of a brand new life. You only get one shot twice. That's a quote from uh, Apple TV show, everybody. <laughs> um, all right. I, I think that this is a slower start. I know it's weird to say for Providence, right? I think they had already scored by now. So, already, if you're Butler High School, really good, right? this is your, these are your baby steps to success, right? You've slowed them down a little bit. You've held them off for almost an entire minute now. Now you just gotta keep slowly building that momentum up, right? You gotta bring down the tan banana, peel it back a little bit, as they would say. The Sag CKO, he doesn't wanna be happy, so don't let him be happy. Score against him. He's Sag, it's in his name. And failed sins has been looking really successful in this series, so he's not living up to his name at all. So what I've noticed so far in these first, you know, the first minute of the game, Providence had their opportunities to score kind of early, but they look like they're kind of playing a little too fast. And sometimes that can happen when you you are at that high caliber team, sometimes just kind of play a little bit too fast. Too fast for your teammates, too fast for yourself. Sometimes you just cannot uh, get it going. And right now, Butler with that shot on was able to get taken away though by failed sins. Just doing a great job. But now going back the other way, Providence trying to get on the board early like we talked about. Still scoreless. Butler doing a great job on defense. See if it can transition into some offense here. And that was a great play by Cammy trying to set up their teammates, but no one's going to be there. Cammy trying to rally his team back. This is really good if you're the Butler Bulldog. Kind of makes me wonder, right? You got down a few goals. Maybe you just, maybe you just let off the gas a little bit, right? You're just sitting there talking strategy. I'm eating my words, Tam Banana, <laughs> as you just score right before our eyes. Yeah. Nice assist by Phelpson. Yeah, that was a great play. I mean, you see, I mean, that was just one of those who can get to the ball faster, and yep. that's all it was right there on that first goal. Providence, like I said, was playing a little bit too fast early on. Now it looks like they're reeling it back, starting to play their speed. We'll see if that uh, continues here, but Butler High needs to uh, create some chaos or something, get some demos out there. Try to, let's try to get uh, Providence uh, you know, discombobulated. Yep, Animal War certainly playing out accurately here. Panthers are much faster than Bulldogs. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Go find them both in the zoo. See which one's faster. Um, I need to see a race now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious. You know how they have in like some zoos, they have that little thing where you can run beside a cheetah. Now they need a bulldog and a panther. Yeah. A lot of back and forth here. I'm interested if you say this name Kami or Kami. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to go with Kami. Just to set up a future thing for uh, Kami Kazi. In case he gets the tan banana whirlwind coming out of the gate there. Nice little score. Must have had a lot of speed on that one. Yeah, and just Tommy right there just whiffing on that. And that set up Pan Banana. Put it in. And right now, 2-0 Providence looking pretty good here in game number two. Nice little break there going to the side of Providence. They've got the early momentum here. Building a little bit of pressure. You can see Seattle Lord looking to get in here, figure out how he can help his team defend. And that's got to be a tricky scenario to navigate through there, right, is you're kind of in the middle of the arena. You see the ball floating towards your goal. How do you circle in? How do you get that impact? How do you judge, right, the speed that you need to be at to get that interception, yeah. so and, to speak? And, and to answer that, mostly it's just reps. How many times have you seen that situation? How many times? Because, like you said, it's got to be a perfect you should know if your teammates are behind you going for the ball. Sometimes, a lot of times, they double commit. And that is what you don't want as a team is having two players from the same team both commit to the ball and miss. And then you're down 
basically a couple players and it's a one on three on the back end. And so it, it all really just depends on how good your teammates are and, and, and how can you trust them and the chemistry. That's really big here in Rocket League. Yep, absolutely. You have to be thinking as the Sag CKO gets another goal up 3 0. Not quite. The 0 6 0 is the last game, but 3 0 is still a very dominating score right in this best of five. You have to think that unless Butler High can really rally that they're gonna they're gonna lose this game to the series. Yeah, and, and like you said in, in game one, is this messing with their mental state here for game three? Being down 3-0 again, they still haven't put up a point yet. Sam Banana 4 continues. And it continues. Can they make it to 6-0 or can they set new high scores? It's like we're in the arcade right now. Nice beautiful little delivery there by Sam Banana. I, w I want to give a great shout out for the Providence Panther team. I mean, them not slowing down and playing down to their competition as well. We do see a lot of teams that are up there in when it comes to you know experience. And sometimes when they're playing a team that's not so much up there with them, they slow down and play to that competition. Right now, Providence is not doing that. They're not laying down. They're not letting Pro uh, Butler, uh, you know, take the reins of how fast can we play. Look at Tam Banana just trying to put up, you know, pat, you know, pat of stats here Absolutely. tonight. I think Friday that's night his, I think that's his third of this game, going for four. They definitely want to hit that same statement. 6-0 again. Your butler, your cars look good, look kind of dapper there. I saw one that looked like he had a tuxedo on his car. And that's pretty neat. Going to prom later, but it's going to be a sad night at prom after this beating that Providence is giving them. Yeah, absolutely. You might, you might just want to stay home after that one. That one's tough. As we see another possible goal, and that's failed sins. Now, the combination between Tan Banana and Failed Sins on goals, just watch this again, how he keeps this up in the air with a little flip reset, pops it right over, uh, uh, was this Mupkipo? Yep. His car, and just absolutely a great play. Another important call out there, no assist on that play. That was all Failed Sins. He did yes. that by himself, 1v3 per se. Can they get it to 7-0 and set themselves a new high score? They were really close that in that game one, and it looks like they were going to be close again. They have an opportunity right here. They keep the ball up. The ball is up, but it looks like it's going to hit the ground, and Providence will take game two to make that 2-0. The Panthers count on another victory, and the scoreboard tells it all, folks. Yes. Tan Banana, four goals. Failed sins. Sad CKO, one goal apiece. But I'm looking at the Look superstar the behind the scenes. Failed sins, five assists, really helping pad his other team member scores. He was a part of almost everything. He did have that one goal on his own. Seven shots by Tam Banana. It's a very dominant start to the series. Up 2-0 early, but Butler Bulldogs, they're not out, right? That's why it's a best of five. Now you treat every series like a best of one. You don't let that pressure come over you. You already lost early on if you're the Valorant squad. Now is your time to rally back, show that mental strength. Discounts, I have a feeling that you played sports just like me. You're in the huddle. Sure did. You're sitting there with your coach. What are you telling to your players right now just to try to help them out? Uh, on which side? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> which side? For because I'm the hyped but if I'm Providence. For the Butler Bulldogs. Providence, they're already popping bottles, right? Butler Bulldogs, what are you telling them? Boys, let's not uh, or girls, let's not stay uh, scared. I mean, we got to go out there. We're backs against the wall. We just got to leave it all on the field. Uh, uh, this is it because we lose this game, we're out. We're not going to prom. You know what I mean? So yep. it, it's it's over. Um, we got to do something here. Let's keep everything pressure on offense. Offense. We had two shots last game. That's not good enough. And uh, 13 shots for Providence. So 13 to two. Who do you think is going to win that game? Right. Let's yep. put more shots down, and that's what I would say to Butler. Let's go. Get it going. Get it going. Yep. Highlight of that.
Thank <laughs> you. 